sustainable living is a dream that many people strive for, but you shouldn't have to sacrifice style and design to get there. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we'll be speaking with Sarah Richardson, the brains behind Co. So first, tell us about the idea behind Co. Co has been something I've been thinking about for a number of years now. It comes from my own experience working in trade and sustainability and my travels around the world where I've discovered amazing communities making incredible things with very little. Two years ago I was working in South Africa quite a bit and I would say that was really the, t the tipping point for me when I decided that these products really were something that would be interesting to people in the West, they're contemporary, they're cool, they're funky, and they're sustainable. That fit in well with my own personal philosophy that we should be using globalization to enhance sustainability as opposed to allowing it to erode. What can we consider sustainable and what, what does sustainability mean? There's three aspects. There's uh, social equity, environmental protection, and economic well-being. Here, when we talk to people about sustainability, it's generally the environmental issues that are top of their minds. When you go to other countries and talk about sustainability, you'll get quite a different answer. I mean, the environmental issues are important, but they're not as important as the issues of equity and the guarantee that workers have safe working environment and are paid a decent wage. What qualifies something as sustainable? What we've done is we've developed a list of eight indicators of sustainability that we use here at Co. They range from energy efficiency to organic to recycled. When we consider a piece, we go through our indicators. We see which ones match up. Now, no one hits all eight indicators, but what we try and do is have at least you know three or four that are relevant for the products that we carry. Would you say that sustainability is something that's attainable for, for everyone? I think sustainability is attainable to a certain degree in the choices we make. That means the choices we make as people in terms of what we're going to buy, and it means the choices we make in terms of what kind of businesses we're going to support. At the same time, we also think about where the things that we consume come from and who's making them under what conditions they've been made and we're trying to bring in things that will support that angle of sustainability. As consumers it's interesting we have a lot of power and often we can move faster than governments in terms of promoting sustainability and what I'm hoping is that this gallery offers people just another choice.